This video will walk through how to stitch our advanced limited edition kit, the Bird Court. Do remember this is an advanced kit, therefore you can also use any stitches you'd like. But first up, what's in the kit? So we have the stitch plans, and then you've got your limited edition certificate and the collections gallery. You've got your fabric with all your threads and a booklet explaining all the stitches. Now this here is the most important element. This is the stitch guide and this one has a sheet for each individual element of the design. We've broken it down like this so you can break down the whole piece into bite-sized chunks. Your fabric and thread are all there and numbered up to coordinate with the stitch plan. So let's pull this apart and I'm going to show you what goes where. So you have a card for each individual element of the plan. Each card has a number guide and the number guide matches up to the numbers on the bobbins. So you'll know which numbers of threads you're using where. We then underneath explain which stitches go where. So section A is all in satin stitch or section B is in Pekingese work. And that matches up to the way they're stitched here. So you see here the tail section B is in Pekingese work. Now this all then links into the instruction booklet. This booklet is a guide on many, many different stitches. There are stitches here which aren't used in your design because I want to give you the option to vary if you'd like. Remember, this is your piece. And so if you want to keep it simple or you want to make it harder, you can do. Use all these stitches to your heart's content. Don't feel stuck to what I say to do. But for example, you see Pekingese work is here written in these instructions. And as always, there is also a separate video showing how to do Pekingese work. So in this video, I'm not going to show you the specific stitching because that's all in the separate individual stitch videos. And instead, I'm just going to walk you through each section. Now, the design is printed onto the fabric and we've printed it. But remember, this is not a dissolvable ink. So as you're stitching, you need to be able to stitch over the top. And that's why we've got it printed in a white ink because you're least likely to see these marks once you finish. So do remember to always work in a hoop. And you can see here, I'm just mounting up the last of our birds, our courtier number three from our bird court. And I'm going to show you how that tarries up to the design. So you see here, we've got all the stripes that you're going to stitch are then also all printed on the fabric. So as you do your satin stitch, you're able to follow along the plan and you know what colour you're placing where. So you see here, the courtier, we're stitching the main body, the neck and the beak all in a satin stitch, as well as the feet. The tail we're doing in a Pekingese work and we're laying down a dark grey for that and then wrapping around in the pale blue. The eye we do through a buttonhole, but that is basically just done by a simple circular stitches all working into the middle to create this sort of hole here. And we use that across all the birds. It's a very simple stitch. Now let's look at the next one, courtier two. And again, the main portion of the bird is actually in a lovely simple satin stitch, all this element. Where it gets more complicated is on the tail, which we've stitched in a whipped stem stitch. Now I'm just showing you here the colors you're going to use for the body. And for the tail, you're going to be using the pale blue and then whipping around it in an orange. So we've printed on the fabric the line to follow. And this line is really tight. But if you just follow it along and you remember when you're doing whip stem, you stitch your stem stitch first and you come back and whip it. But if you'd like to make that a bit wider, then you can do. Start your stem stitch in the pale blue. And then after, come round and whip it in the orange. So next up, our courtier number one. And this one is a really fun exercise in Pekingese work. 
Now, if you've not tried Pekingese work before, do watch the video. It's fun to do. And if you aren't comfortable doing it or it's not one of your preferred stitches, then use a different one. You could use any stitches here. You could use a whipped stem again, and that would work really nicely. But you can see here what I've got is two different ways of doing Pekingese work. So along the tail, I've got a single stripe of Pekingese work, whereas on the wing, what I've done is I've laid down a couple of lines of running stitch first and then run my Pekingese work through them both. And I show you how to do Pekingese work varying between one central line or double lines in the separate Pekingese work video. So head to that to see how it works. But here I'm just going to show you we're going to use the colour 1 for our base line on the tail. And then we alternate between our dark teal and the bright blue doing double lines on the wing. The rest of the bird is then in a chain stitch. And then we have the eye stitched in the same way as the other birds in a sort of stitch working inwards. In order to give you freedom... I'm just going to show you how this looks on the fabric itself. So we don't mark the whole area of Pekingese work, but instead we mark the central lines of backstitch that you're going to need to work your Pekingese around. So we're trying to make it as simple as possible so that you can vary it if you would like. Now next up, the trees and the border, and these are super easy. So all we have is the base of the border and all the stems of the trees are in a lovely little satin stitch. And do take your time creeping this nice and small. It makes it really delicate. And then we use a nice big French knot to stitch the buds of the flowers and the trees. So you can see that here. That's a really lovely, simple section to do. Now, finally, we have our king. And so the king pretty much uses all the stitches we've just discussed. We've got a lot of satin stitch on the body. We've got satin stitch across the beak and the crown. We've then got a Pekingese work on the wing and we've got whipped stem on the tail. And the one thing just to bear in mind is we've got a slightly different pattern of whipped stem on the printout versus what's on the original that I did. And that's just to improve the design. And the only other bit is when we start looking at the head of the bird, you're going to be using effectively a row of chain stitch for the feathers out of his head with some little stitches alongside. And I recommend doing this at the end after you've stitched the crown. Now, as I said, this is an advanced kit. So if you want to vary the stitches to something simpler you're more comfortable with, please do. It's your kit to enjoy as you like, and I hope you really love creating it.